Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to export this ESP32 date uh, to a new ESP32 board. Just export and import to this new board. Because if you have the ESP32 module, uh, this board, you have set many config, but when you have the second, the third, and the fourth, many many new board, you need to config very cost of time. It's a waste of time. So this video, I will show you the easiest way to bank up this ESP32 board and to save uh, just a little bit and write to this new board. Okay, let's look at this our computer in our phone. You can see this is the easiest way to export and import everything from the ESP32. Not only this used for King Kong's controller, you can use any ESP32 chip. You can see here that is our KC868 AG board. Uh, actually, you can use any ESP32 Kinkoni board. So you can see here I have some RF receiver. I have learned. Uh, you can see this IR I have learned. And the FTTT command I have created. Uh, maybe you have created many FTTT commands. So this time, maybe you have also config the network for your load. But if you have the third board, if you have replaced a new board, these all settings you need to reconfig. It's really cost time. So this video, I will show you how to read the date from the ESP32 board and write to a new ESP32 board. So you can download this ESP tool from our website. I have write the strip, so you will be very easy to use it. After you download, you can see uh, this. You will find this two file. Just dump, and this is fresh. So the dump that means read from the ESP32 board, and the fresh that means write the ESP32 board that the firmware have read. So you can see uh, this is our first board. I have connected with the USB cable, and now we can test it. Let's read it. Firstly, I just click and you will see this will auto connect to the serial part this will be auto detect and now you can see the fresh began read so we'll be began with the uh, one percent and until uh, 100 percent just wait for a moment Okay, you can see now it's 100%. That is complete. Uh, press N key to continue. And this time you will see this firmware.bin file have created. Uh, this is the old date, ESP32 date uh, from the first board. And now the second, we just click this fresh. And before you click this fresh, you need to change your USB cable to another board. So you can see. I can remove this USB cable from the first board and this is a new board I have connected to the USB cable. Okay, this is a new age board and maybe you have the second and the third. So now you can see I can just click this fresh.bat file. It will auto connection and now you can see writing until 100% because this time as the ESP tool that is right uh, from this bin file. This bin file have read from the first ESP32 board. So make sure your two board use the same ESP32 module. Okay, now you can see uh, that is complete, uh, 100%. And just press any key to continue. Okay, now you can read power on. You can see I can power off and uh, power on. Then we'll, this board will be going work. And now I can use this Kinkoni scan device tool and monitor and scan. And you will see as uh, this board, uh, this is a new board. This is the first board and this is a new board. And we can log in. Okay, now we can click 
the network. And you can see this load is already STE mode and the SSID and the password. You can see uh, this is the first uh, this first board and this is the second board all is seen. And let's test this IR. And you will see uh, this first IR have run. So that is copied to the second board. And the click FTD command and you will see the timer and enable. This is the first FTD command I have created. So this time the second ESP32 board all date have import from the first board. Okay, this is the easiest way to back up or clone your ESP32 module. Thanks for watching.